Hey everyone. So this is week 10 of my pregnancy right now. And I can finally talk loud and um, have my kids be in the background because they know about the baby. Um, it was really fun. Uh, last weekend we moved. And that Saturday, which was... Um, well, this is Tuesday the 28th, so it was not this, uh, it wasn't Memorial Day weekend, it was the weekend before. And that Saturday, and I think I told you guys that we had decided to go get an ultrasound. Um, we did, we, I, I originally didn't want to get an ultrasound and it wasn't in my plan. Um, I have a home Doppler and at the time I was eight weeks and I had not been able to hear the heartbeat on the Doppler yet. I knew it was early, but, um, some percentage of people are able to hear that early, but I do have a tilted uterus, so I I couldn't hear it that early. Um, and we were making a video, as you all know, for a video announcement, and um, so we wanted to tell our kids before the announcement, um, so obviously that they knew what was going on in the announcement. So, since I hadn't heard the heartbeat yet, we decided to get the ultrasound because I wanted to make sure everything was okay before we told the kids. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you guys the ultrasound picture. Um, this is from two weeks ago. Excuse me. Um, so this is from eight weeks. I am currently ten weeks. So you can see this cute baby on here. So cute. And if you guys are used to ultrasounds at all, you can completely see what this stuff is. Um, this is the head up here and the body, and then you can see a little hand, a little arm. Um, this thing right here is the yolk sac, which is giving the baby all the hormone, or give, like doing all the hormones and all the, um, keeping the baby alive until the placenta takes over, which is um, probably this week actually, that this um, yolk sac is being absorbed and the baby um, is living on the placenta. And when we actually got this ultrasound, um, the ultrasound technician said that she could see, um, sorry guys, got cut off, um, someone tried to call me, so I will have to merge these two videos. Um, anyways, as I was saying, the placenta is taking over and the ultrasound technician had told me that, um, the umbilical cord was forming perfectly and the little brain was developing great, so everything looked really good, um, and the heartbeat was like 170-ish, so, and the cute baby so far. So I'm excited about that. Um, so anyway, so after we had this t the ultrasound done that Saturday, which was um, week before Memorial Day weekend, um, I had made the kids, as you guys know, the um, superhero capes. And we let them open it. We have a video of that, which we will post on um, the channel. Uh, I will, Jason took it with his camera or with his phone, so um, I'll have to upload it through his phone, which um, hopefully I'll actually have it up there and ready and everything before we hit everything public. So, they were so excited. Hanny, I don't think, really believed it at first. I, and then after she said, Shh, or like, are you serious and everything, she was like, I knew it, I knew it all along, and I knew the whole time because um, I've been really sick this time, and um, I think the kids really noticed. And the other thing, too, is that my um, belly has grown so much quicker this time. And so I've been wearing dresses and stuff to like, cover it up. But, you know, I'm with my kids all the time, and Hanny's getting older. She's uh, almost nine. So I think she noticed, and um, but had no confirmation until then. So it was really exciting, and they were so happy. So then, uh, Memorial Day weekend, uh, let's see, this was Memorial Day weekend. I'm trying to think what day it was. I think it was Friday. Friday of Memorial Day weekend, which was, you know, yeah, this a few, this is Tuesday, so this past Friday. Um, the videographers came to our house and we did this awesome video shoot um, making superhero cookies and, and there's a little cookie with like a little question mark and I, I don't know exactly how they're going to put this video together but I am so excited to see it. Um, and once it comes out we are going to announce this to everybody um, which is absolute perfect timing. I really wanted to wait till 12 weeks to announce this and I am currently 10 weeks turning 11 weeks on Friday in a few days. So by the time that they are done with the video, I'll probably be 12 weeks anyways. So I'm really excited about that. Um, let's see. Uh, I told my best friend finally. Um, 
I wanted to tell her before the video came out and um, so we went over to her house to see her new baby which I got to be a part of um, skipping back a little bit the Friday or the Saturday um, that we moved in so a couple of sa or two uh, two Saturdays ago um, she went into labor and had her baby girl just after midnight uh, and it was amazing I just it was wonderful I had planned on telling her about our pregnancy before she had her baby um, but she ended up having the baby like a week and a half early I think um, so no problem I we went on the Friday after like five days after her baby was born and told her well actually I had had our youngest Ezra who's two um, wear his little cape into the house and actually some several of the kids were wearing their capes but she didn't notice that they said I'm going to be big brother that his said I'm going to be big brother on the back and we kept kind of leaning them towards her just to see if she would notice it but she didn't it was kind of funny so eventually after we were there for about you know 30 40 minutes I brought him in and I was like what do you think of the applique I put on his cape and she was really shocked it was really exciting um she had no idea which was awesome because um that was our goal is that no one would have any idea um so let's see after that um the other person i'm going to tell before the video comes out is my sister and since noah sees this video i can tell you what i'm going to do um <clears throat> originally i had bought these appliques that say it's the same as that i got my kids that say um well there's my kids say like i'm going to be a big brother dot 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 again well hers was said um I'm going to be a cousin, dot, 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 again. Um, but I was having a lot of trouble figuring out what to put theirs on. I had put our kids' on superhero capes, but I didn't have enough time with the move to make new superhero capes for her kids. Um, so I was trying to figure out what to put them on, and I was going to do t-shirts, but I didn't know what size they were, and I thought it would be suspicious if I asked her what size they were all in. Um, so I, I had this idea that instead of that, it would just be a lot easier and probably cuter. Anyways, um, I went on Amazon, or actually I went online and I looked, tried to find a book about cousins. And I found this book that was sold on Amazon. It's actually a bilingual book, um, Spanish and English, about um, cousins. And it's a really cute story about these cousins who play together and they eat together and they get together but they kind of don't live next to each other um, but when they get together they have a lot of fun and sometimes they you know sometimes they have little quarrels and stuff that they're cousins and they love each other and their family and what cousins are about so I'm going to send her that book and on the inside I'm gonna write something like you know to my nephews or whatever I'll probably put their names and say you know we hope you enjoy this book about um, cousins um, especially since you're going to have one more and then I'll probably put like yes it's true we're going to have you're going to be a cousin again or something along those lines so I'm really excited I think she's gonna be shocked I, I have I am sure that she has no idea that we are expecting um, I've done a really good job at hiding it not dropping any any hints or anything um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see her reaction I'm probably not really gonna tell her that I'm gonna send it I will probably say the boys or Hanny and Kai are sending the boys something because um, they send letters back and forth so she won't even suspect it and it will it will be really fun so after she gets that whenever we get the video we will release it we will put it on our YouTube channel we will um, talk about that um, after we hear people's reactions and I am so excited um, for everybody to know. So I'm going to do belly shot um, this week because that's pretty much all that's going on. That and just I'm still really sick. So um, nothing changed. I did do a video just before this of the um, heartbeat on the Doppler. Now in 10 weeks I can hear it. I know exactly where the baby is. I've heard it um, three times now in the perfect little spot. Same spot every time. Heartbeat 173, 174. So high heartbeat. Um but it's good. It's very good. So this is um, my belly at 10 weeks. Please, if you haven't seen the other videos, you must go back and look at belly shots, especially from like week three. I have flat stomach and um, already it's uh, not flat stomach anymore. So you will, you will totally see the difference and it's pretty amazing. Okay. So as you can see, this is my 10 week baby belly and now keep in mind like this little 
part right here on top is not baby. This is, I don't know what that is, um, bloating maybe. So where I'm pushing down all this right here, this is baby. My uterus has come up to my belly button already, um, which is right here. So this whole area is uterus and baby. And um, so it's just crazy. I love it. Um, I forgot how much I miss having pregnant belly. Um, this is the front. And of course you can't even tell like, like from the back at all. So, um, yeah, so it's so cute. Um, really excited. Uh, I cannot believe that we're here at the 12 week mark almost in a week and a half. Um, it just felt like it has taken forever to get to this point. And I'm so excited to tell people, I don't know how I've hidden my morning sickness from so many people. Um, just been really sick. So anyways, I am excited for everyone to know and for these videos to be public. And um, yeah, so you will be, um, I will probably update next week. Um, probably. I think I will be updating next week. It depends on when we get our video and um, when my sister gets that book. And if we announce sooner than later. So, alright guys, we'll talk to you next week.